All right, let's do more Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. <sighs> progress. Big, big progress. Today won't be as long as uh, yesterday. But I do want to, at the very least, move a villager. Plus, maybe carves thing is unlocked. There's just a bunch of things going on now that uh, KK has visited. Good evening, everyone. Right now in Chamblonia, it's 9 p.m. Now for today's announcements. First, I have ordinances. I'm happy to announce that special rules called ordinances can now be enacted. Oh, cool, I can do that. Ordinances are a great way to help improve everyday lives of our residents. They're quite a lot of responsibility, and anyone in acting should understand everyone's needs. Okay, good. I can make it night ordinance. If anyone has questions, yep. Moving on, I'd like to tell everyone about a new kind of tour available. Starting today, residents can go on boat tours. Ooh. These tours are a little different than the ones they offer at the airport. You'll get to board a boat and enjoy the ocean breeze as you make your way to your destination. There are lots of uninhabited islands out there that can only be reached by boat. The rumor has it that they, there are plenty of DIY materials on these islands and even strange things buried in the ground. It sounds mysterious, doesn't it? These boat tours are available once a day using miles. Okay. Wow, and a campsite visitor. Ooh, I could get the mouse to move out if it's a good one. Hey, look, my house is here. Oh, Harvey's thing is here too. Clothing shop is already closed. So I should have sold. It's okay. Leaf is here. Oh, I'm 
We don't have tomato yet, so. We got mums. We don't have roses. Okay. I need to look at the diagram for roses. Yellow rose. Okay. It's most of the flowers sorted out. Infrastructure. The layout changes. Wait a minute. Okay, uh, Pico. Wait, can I get more land? Okay, well first... We'll go pick out the spot. Might not be necessarily bad that there's a rock there. Oh. I guess I made it one too wide. Nah, that's fine. Carving.
tend to fly out. Oh, that's an easy one. It's so much easier to get around now. without my stuff though. Okay, well, I have fruit available. You're moving out. Some think sneezing can say just hit yeah, you. what I came here for. another purple one. Assuming I'm doing this correctly.
nothing new has happened. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the ghost is here. I forgot about the ghost. I'll see who else is... I mean, it's better than the mouse, I guess. Rules are good. You got it, whatevs. So all cards have suits. The heart, diamond, spade, or club marks. And all suits are either red or black. It's really easy. All you gotta do is guess the suit color of the top card in the deck. Guess right, and you get to keep my clean room suit. Alright, Roxa, you're up. What color is the card's top suit? Black. Ah, yep, that's definitely black. It's a spade. Oof, I kinda didn't want to part with my clean room suit, but I promise. And that was awesome. Let's do a rematch sometime, okay? I mean, it's not a first choice, but it's still better than what I have. The jumpsuit. I remember me by thinking it tasted better warmed over a campfire than they ever did at home. It was so good. I mean, camping means singing and dancing by the fire. That's kind of weird when you get older, though. I mean, someone will bring a guitar and jam a little sometimes. That's about it. Whatevs. Tent living is alright, I guess. I like it every now and then. Whatevs. Don't get me wrong, I love spending a night under the stars. I just found a camping bed I like. What's up? You like games? Because I got something I want to pitch to you. How'd you like to play a quick game of Judogi? All yours if you win. Alright, sure. I want to hear the rules first. Rules are good. Whatevs. So all cards, yeah. Guess the suit. Okay, so this is one and four. Oh, red. Definitely red. That's a heart. 
That was us on the server we met sometime. I mean, you just keep talking to them until they want to move in. Oh. I mean, I do want something different for today, so let's just go with this. The more and more I get to know Shambalone, the less I want to leave, what else? Kind of consider doing, tell me, this place even half as awesome it seems. More than half, join us. What? Join? Actually, if I'm, hmm, that'd be cool, but I gotta say no. But as much as I love it here, I love it back home even more. You know, what else? Just keep talking. Like games, because, again, quick game of tea with the silicone bib. Okay. Uh, surprise me. Diamond. Dude! It's a diamond! Great guess! Guess, that's that. I'm just taking all this deer's clothing. That was also a see rematch sometime. These camping trips end way too fast. I finally get to know all these awesome folks. I gotta go. It's really too bad. I almost feel like Olivia, whatever. Why almost? Join us. Ah, seriously? You're not younger my chain? More importantly, I was serious when I say I'm Luca. Actually, no, I don't think this is a place for me. Plus, my friends back home will never forgive me if I just up and vanish. Sorry. Yeah, just keep doing it. More than half. Join us. Join you like me. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry. <laughs> it's not entirely out of the question. Keep thinking about doing a spooky story contest with everyone, but I couldn't think of any stories to tell. So I started looking up scary stuff on my phone, and yeah, I'm kind of panicking right now. Whatevs. There's just something about roughing it that makes food taste better. I don't know what it is. Once I was little, Dad brought some leftover grilled tofu with us camping. Whatevs. I don't remember thinking it tasted better warmed over a campfire than it ever did at home. It was so good. I always meet so many cool folks when I travel. I love hearing all the new perspectives. Whatevs. Plus, I get to inflict all my tired old jokes on a whole new audience. I won't give up, like, it, it does work eventually. There's just something about this place that gets me all charged up, I love it. I bet living here would be awesome. If I could feel like this all the time, whoa, whatevs. <sighs> I feel you, come live here. What, John, you actually live here? Hmm, that'd be really cool and all, but I gotta say no. Uh, just, just keep trying. For me, camping means singing and kind of dancing by the fire. That's kind of weird when you get older, though. I mean, maybe some will bring a guitar and jam a little sometimes, but that's about it. Whatevs. The more and more I get to know Shambloni, the less I want to leave. I'm kind of considering digging it here. Alright, just do it. You're not, like, yanking my chain? More importantly, I was serious. Actually, not. <laughs> Eventually, there's a card game that you play. <laughs> it's just, join us! Oh, you really must want me to do... Okay. You got it. Oh. Except I got a vote. Okay. Alright, so now it's random. Sokono, I just said something about not being any close for sale. They did tell me I could move in with someone, but... Kind of over having the whole roommate thing. It's too bad. Kind of liking the idea of living on Chamblain. Oh well, thanks anyway. Hang on. I thought... Hold up. Okay, so then, apparently, the next time it happens, they'll say they'll want to trade. Everyone wants to live, oh well. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But ten including me. Hold on.
Maybe I do have room for one more. I don't know if it's 10 including me or 10 overall. I'm looking at, into this. Hmm. Hold on. Let me go investigate this. So if I have one more plot of land... I'll just get a different hat. What do I even have? I gotta talk about ordinances anyway. <laughs> Sell some land. Oh shit. I can do one more. In that case, don't. Yeah. No rush. <laughs> I need to save the knock miles. Oh crap, what an answer. I mean, if I didn't spend all those nook miles on just the island stuff. Yep. Review island features. Audiences. Yes. Um... Bell boom? Night Owl Ordinance. This would boost nice light by asking first to say if they would also have island businesses extend their hours. Yes. Tomorrow. Uh. No, that's it. Okay, but then shops will be open later, so that's what I want. Then I don't have to keep changing the clock. Okay, that's all set up. Ooh, yeah, this is here now. Hell yeah. <laughs> ah! Guys, guys! Please, I haven't done anything wrong. Just let me go. 
Ah, a human. A real life human? I've been on this island for a long time, but I've never seen a human. Oh, you just moved here. Oh, uh, okay. That explains everything. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Wisp. Nice to meet you. Hi. Well, I'll just be honest with you. I love the darkness, especially nighttime. But I'm afraid of ghosts. Ugh. This little run-in with you has all of me has me all shaken up. You scared some pieces of my spirit right out of me. Looks like they flew off when we bumped into each other. There's no way I can stay like this. What a pickle. Um, I'm sorry to ask this of you, but could you maybe collect a piece of my spirit that flew away? Otherwise, I'll be like this forever. I, I cannot deal with that. Please help. I promise there'll be something good in it for you. Now, let's see here. There are... Five pieces of my spirit and all. You should be able to find them floating around the island. You'll need a net to catch them. I'm counting on you. Thank you. I'll do this now. So that means I have more... More villages I can find. That's so weird though, that it would be 11. Do something about these trees. Okay, hold on. Are you looking for an instant muscle suit? What? Really? It must have been someone else. Oh well, you know how you're always doing that thing to me, Well, The other day I couldn't help buying an instant muscle suit, and now I can't help giving it to you. It'd make me super happy if you'd accept it. Try it out and see if you like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. I love that it's green that it matched the bandana, coincidentally. How many is that? Three. Oh shit, that was a spider. I couldn't see it. That's annoying. It's gone. <sighs> anyone now. Thank you. 
Oh, cool. Last one's up here. You did it, you found all the pieces of my spirit. Come on, hand them over. Perfect, that's all five pieces. Ta-da! Back to normal. Phew, thank goodness. And thank you, I feel wonderful. All oh, right, I need to give you the reward I promised. Uh, what's it gonna be? I'm thinking a type of clothing. I can get you something you don't have or something expensive. Something expensive. I'm not great at judging the value of my eyes. I'm not totally sure if this is worth a lot, but yeah, I have a wizard's robe. I just had a wizard's robe. A different color. for now. There we go. background element. Yeah, I didn't see you there, Will. Pardon me, I'm afraid I was quite lost in thought now. You see, there is a matter which... Actually, your timing is impeccable as ever. Perhaps you could help me. See, I was thinking of a way to draw more folks to our museum, when I hit upon the idea of adding a cafe. So, I tried to contact Brewster, an old friend of mine, who happens to be an experienced cafe manager. Unfortunately, it seems he's closed up shop and nobody appears to know where he's gone. However, in my search, I also caught wind of a newly unearthed group of gyroids. Brewster goes positively with cuckoo of a gyroids, you see. In much the same way I do around fossils. I wage my very wings that Brewster has heard about these gyroids as well. Naturally, you can see where this is going. I would like you to take up the search for Brewster. That is a photograph of Brewster. Should you find them, tell him I'd like him to come to Shamblonia. If it helps, the gyroids I mentioned earlier were found on islands near where Captain leads these stores. Sorry to burn you with this, but I hope you know I have, you have every, my every confidence and not my gratitude. Jeez, I can't read now. Good luck. Just the one, the T-Rex torso. Could it be? It's a T-Rex torso. Does this mean? 
Yes, the T-Rex is complete. Okay. Sure. I'd say the T-Rex is the 800 pound gorilla of the dinosaur world, but it likely weighed over 9 tons. This fearsome chap is practically synonymous with the word dinosaur, and for good reason. I had up to 42 feet long with banana sized teeth, it was one of the largest carnivores to ever walk the earth. It's unclear how fast T-Rex was, estimates vary wildly. I'm just relieved I'll never have to escape one. Damn, that was a spend all one. Oh, this is so much better. <laughs> can just run across now. Okay. I need Anklio body. Gonna get different flooring options because I have not decorated the rooms really. gonna stash everything. I'll go to Harv's Island and get the art thing. Is 
was going to plant the tomatoes, but I think I'll just wait. Hold on, Harvey is able, not like him to abandon his post or do of anything really. Except there's a new path over there. Land base recon's not my area, so looks like it's up to you. Yeah, there we go. So, did you get the little nerd I sent you? Well, you must have, since you're here. I'm so excited to share this with you. This is... This right here is going to be the heart of our new collective. I've really put my soul into this. Ah, oh. But I've had plenty of help from all kinds of folk along the way, like my old pal Harriet here. You go way back. You can tell... You can call her Hattie for short if you want. They most certainly cannot call me that, Harv. Only you can call me that. Sorry, sugar. I'm Harriet. It's nice to finally meet you. I've heard all about you from Harv here. Well, uh, there you have it. So, where was I? Alright. My dream collective. Well, this is what I envision as the heart of the movement. A central plaza filled with cops. Now, here's the business part where it kind of gets ugly. I hate even talking about bells, you know? But a cop can't build itself without a little cooperation, so I think the best idea is to have a little fundraiser. Every time we raise enough capital for a cop, we'll get a new one going. Golly, did I just say capital? Well, I suppose that's my sales pitch. Sorry, I was never cut out for sales. But I'd be mighty grateful if you were interested in helping us realize this dream. Even if it's only a little bit at a time. Every little bit helps. Yep. Oh, that's great. How does this world? I knew I could count on you to help me, Will. Actually, I got another old pal to volunteer as well. You know my buddy Lloyd, don't you? Well, he was so kind as to reach out to some of his pals, also named Lloyd. And they'll be volunteering. So, when you're ready, just go ahead and talk to any old Lloyd with about which co-op he's collecting for. Feel free to explore the area, meditate, or snack on some vegan pumpkin gnocchi if the mood strikes. Thanks again for helping us, and I'll see you around. I mean, if I remember correctly, this is either shoes or art. Yeah, this is shoes. Yeah, said the nation legitimate art dealer. Yep. Then we get more purse on the museum. Okay. The others aren't so component, like this is what, um... Oh. Well... That's kind of annoying, <laughs> but okay. I mean, this is the one that I wanted right away, it's the art one, so at least that's now a thing. I wanted to see the others, but that one's the most important one. The shop's gonna close in ten minutes. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm 
I'm going to drop. A, I'm going to drop a. A thing under each tree that's a fruit tree. I'm not going to move them today. This is so I can harvest the fruit, sell it. And know which one's fruit trees and which ones aren't. Hopefully it won't take long. Most of these are going to be fruit trees. Oops. Seven minutes before the shop closes. gonna make my life easier later when I'm trying to move stuff.
kind of wish the fruit trees had a visual difference. But I can understand why they don't. It's, a, it's okay, they're marked now. Sell these for and keep the rest. I don't think I'll be able to collect the rest of this before it closes. Two minutes. Even if I don't get to sell it, it's, I need to hang on to this fruit anyway. When I do decide to move trees, I'm gonna need a lot. There it is.
お手数ですアイテムを見つけたら、ファイブバッグを見つはい、そう、スナッピングトゥルルは available。Plant flowers and then I'm gonna go for those.
Okay. I'm also gonna set this up. is not in the way, it might be in the way. I guess even if it is, it's fine. The fruit will still fall. This is so inaccurate. Alright. So, here. The only yellow. The roses are the most complicated ones. I know that you have to duplicate the red ones and then you get gold eventually, but I'll have to look into that one later. Okay. 
Excuse me. storage okay uh customization just so the stuff doesn't break on me my net as well, I've been using it. Hell, even the slingshot. The, sh the store's closed. I feel like those ones should get removed from the list when the store's not open. use all this this time. Keep catching shadows of that size to get the turtle. One more bug. Am 
Moth, 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 come on. Any, any bug. so hard to find a bug. <laughs> Just need one more. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Monday just starting. <laughs> yeah, um, Monday was long for me, so just kicking back. Did a lot of work on the island yesterday. Take a day off on the Monday. It'll happen soon enough. It's like three weeks away. I'll just take. There's a public holiday on a Tuesday, and I'll just take the Monday as well. Well, the whole back part of the island is just like completely different. I can dug it out entirely and divided it into plots of land. It's the public holiday, a horse race. Yeah, my house is back here now. So now there are plots of land. Pico's gonna live there. I've marked out another one. It took forever to hollow that all out. But that's what I'm gonna go with, is... Each village is gonna have, like, a plot of land. And it'll be sizable enough. But the hardest part is done. It looks a lot better than your island. I mean, here it's still a mess. The northern part looks nice now. But I need to move the houses, and then I need to move the trees, and... I set up places where flowers can grow. Finally a bridge here. Yeah. 
Really? Again? This part is, is a mess. It's just plots where I'm growing flowers and making hybrids. And there's just trees everywhere. I chopped down a, a lot of trees. Particularly here. You're always late for new crafting. Yeah. Well. Uh, I know this might look like I've done a lot, but I haven't done a lot today. This was all yesterday. I sat down for six hours and just did this. Completely hollowed out the back part and divided it into plots of land. So now my house is up here, so then I can immediately see if the boat's in town. Pico's gonna live here. So five plots of land here. Well, that's the thing, I, I haven't really done much today. Today I just did the usual stuff, which takes about 40 minutes. Just getting the fossils, identifying them. Um, and then I went to Harv's Island and set up stuff. So, I just wanted to point out that there is a big difference, but it's not from today. Not at all. The only other thing I did today was set up the roses area. Okay, that's the spider. But that was, that was all yesterday. There's also a, a camper here. A deer, but... Apparently I still have one more plot of land. So I'm not out of space yet, but... There is a camper here, I'm just... I don't know. I think I can do better. So I can't swap the mouse for him because there's still one more plot of land I can buy. But if I buy the plot, he's going to move in, which I don't want. And he's, he's okay. He's, o he's okay, but like... It's a deer, yeah. Personally, out of, out of all the deer... Oh, what was the deer's name? There's a deer that I've seen that I, I really like. Hang on. I think his name was Eric. If I'm not wrong. Eric the deer. I like Eric's design. Eric the moose? Is it Eric the moose? Eric deer. Oh yeah, no, it's a moose. You're right. It says, Lazy Deer Villager. So yeah, it's a deer. Looks similar, just has... Okay, it's like an elk. Anyway. <laughs> it's fine. I definitely would have taken them if it would have caused the mouse to move out, but it doesn't. So I'd rather not open that can of worms yet. Um, I've marked every fruit tree with a stone, because I'm going to move a bunch of it. Still working on the gilla. Yeah, just wait for the speech bubble thing to appear. Okay. I 
kind of lucked out with my my one. Campus spawn even if you're full. If you want them to move in, the last of random villager to move. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. That's what I was trying to get to happen, but then um, because I'm not full and more land can be sold, they just said no. Like, go talk to Tom Nook about land. So, it's fine. Yeah. I also put nighttime ordinance up. So now, from tomorrow, these shops will be open an extra hour. So I don't really have to mess around with time too much. You just keep gambling until they pick one that you want kicked off. You just gotta close the game and not finish the conversation. It takes a while, but it does work. Okay. Oh yeah, right, you're here now. A lot has happened today. I'm going after, what's it called? The Barrel Eye. I still have cherry blossoms. Uh, I think they're gone now. They're, they're only a week or something in game. Nice muscle. Thanks. Audi gave me the tank top. It's two weeks. Okay. that so I need to grind up nook miles <laughs> so I can go uh go on this endeavor to look for another villager it's just I spent all my miles on the island app so yeah villager hunting I had about 20,000 miles, but yeah, it all went. The water, the landscape, and then the actual paths that I bought. I didn't buy all of them. There's still a couple I haven't acquired, but for the most part it's there.
today I bought the art caravan. So then it's going to appear at Harv's Island. What's Harv's Island? Um, go there when you go to the airport. Then you go, I want to fly. There's an option to go to his island. Originally, it was just a photo studio where you could just put down furniture and take screenshots. But now the DLC has kind of made that pointless, so they've expanded that island. Once you get three stars and KK Slider visits, um, Harv will start a co-op so there'll be a bunch of stores that you can set up there and one of them is the uh the art thing so yeah There's, there's others, but that one's primarily the one I want. Fishing. Yeah. I'm after the barrel eye, so let's we'll see how we go. It's not a big shadow according to what I just read. Like, I think this is the correct shadow. It says shadow size 2. good at late night fishing. That was the one. I doubt it. I'm going to customize the rod so it doesn't break. It's 
Is that a... It's a small shadow. Okay, never mind. Might have been it. I didn't react quick enough. <laughs> Need a fishing invite. I'll just make me stop fishing. I mean, I'm doing this for museum progression. And yesterday I did spend six hours. Island building. See, so you have that. See, that that's right. There's the Twitch one. Twitch has a fishing emote. That's a pretty good one. I mean, I would say yes. Looks like a fish. I just don't like the... The whole lose money aspect. I'd much rather just sell it tomorrow. Because it deposits the... It'd be one thing if it gave you the money right away, but all it does is just... It gets deposited into your bank the next day, so it's like, what's the point? If you're still not going to get the money right away, like, just sell it tomorrow. It's like that looks like a fish. <laughs> hey, Nectar, how's it going? Alright. Oh, I can't stack these on top of one another. That's annoying. Just lurking, fair enough. It's like a blob with one eye smiling. I don't know. I always saw a fish.
Why are these in such ridiculously big containers? Might be a mistake. Dried flower garland? Apparently that's an indoor decoration. Oh. I guess... Alright, cool. still haven't received the cooking ability. I think it might even be there. I haven't gone to the ABD today. Not swipe it. The two fish I need to catch Barrel Eye and the Snapping Turtle. Getting the right shadow size. Just wrong fish. I mean, at least this one's good, because it's worth money.
Cowboy as this fish. I don't know if I have just bad luck or like it's that rare. It's fine, the chain was already broken. Not the shadow I'm after anyway. Customize the road before it breaks again. But it's not looking good. This is just typical of me. I prepare 80 pieces of bait. I go look for a fish, I get it immediately. And now that I'm looking for a fish that probably isn't as rare, I'm using 80 pieces of bait and I still haven't found it.
Ah! Am I sure I got the time right? Yep, it's definitely now. Shadow size 2, ocean. No special condition. season, small shadow, not tiny. Yeah. That's tiny. I've gotten so many small shadows, but it just hasn't appeared. Trying to catch everything for each month. You're staring at the wiki page for too long. I, f I don't know. I, f I feel like even before you started playing this game, you knew more about the game than I did. Particularly when it came to villages. Like, I still haven't seen most of them. I can go up here. Okay. I guess if it's little. Call us CJs in town tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, even though tomorrow is a Tuesday, I'll still probably log into the game just to get one of the villages moved to the north side of the island. That would be good though, because that would pay for another hard visitor.
And here I thought this would be enough bait to look for the snapping turtle as well. They do that, but I got it. Damn. I was kind of hoping that would be it. I love how Captain's just in the background, just chilling. Hey, he reacts. Not much of a reaction, but his face changed a little bit. to the last eight. This is just reminding me of the whole Sturgeon ordeal. Oh shit, that was bad. That was admittedly bad. It's okay, like, it's available all season. I don't have to do it today. Just would have been nice. Don't want to fill up the whole island with fish. No. What do we have here? Yours be not a face I've seen before. Name's Cat, and what's yours, Will, is it? Yeah, that'd be a nice fancy name, that. Well, I came here to ferry folks on tours to various wee islands in exchange for miles. I'd even take you where there be treasures. Me tours go to places you can only reach with me boat. I can take you almost any time. Okay. Not yet. I will do one because it progresses the, uh, the cafe thing. That's it, got it. <laughs> Is that how you get the bar? Um, after you get three stars, Blathers will talk to you about him, and then you have to look for gyroids. But yeah, you find gyroids on the islands. That's uh, 
that he takes you to. Okay, so now it's Snapping Turtle. Okay. The Barrelite is a deep sea fish with protuberant eyes and a clear head. Some of its organs are visible. At first blush, a transparent head seems absurd, but there is a reason, so it can see things directly above. But I must confess, the more I learn about deep sea fish, the happier I am to live on dry land. What? There you have it. Okay. I do have some daytime fish to get, but... That is the barrel I done. I need coelacanth on a rainy day. I need... Neon tetra and goldfish. Snapping turtle is a size 4. Okay. We have four pieces of bait. Just not that shadow. I kind of want a, uh... Well, two of them. One to donate and one to keep as a pet. One. Nope. Alright, well, I tried. The only way I'm gonna get it is if I just run into it randomly. That's a big one. It's a lot of fish, but it's not really worth a lot. There's no big ticket fish here.
close enough. <laughs> I'll customize my rod just to reset it. I need to. Get the thing that lets me learn cooking recipes. I don't know why they're dropping given I don't have the thing yet. Get the music of the day. Wait, they have a bow, Bob. <laughs> These are trees that you can find in Australia. I can do something with this. As long as it's in the catalogue, that means I can buy another one at some point. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, what else is here? So these are the ones I haven't purchased yet. Oh, damn. There's actually good fencing now today. Ugh. But I need to save knock miles. Okay. No, but both of these fences are good. They're both good. I'm doing some reactions. Wait, I... What did I buy? I bought reactions. Shit, I bought the wrong thing. Okay, but I got a thousand for it. <sighs> I guess it's like it balances out, sort of. No, you know what? That's fine. I blame the D-pad for that. I got a thousand knock miles back. It's fine. Okay, this is the right one. Wait, no, it's not. What? Am I, am I, like, having a stroke? Okay, but now I got 2,000 back. I don't know what's happening. I think I'm losing my mind. DIY. How to be a chef, DIY. DIY chef, this is it. It's, it's okay. It's like I get Nook Miles back for it. Imagine there's more reactions. I think I would go get my head examined tomorrow. But it is 11pm and I've had a really fucking long day. <laughs> like I was still doing work stuff at about 8.30 so. And brain is gone. Um, Imperial Fence. Two 
stone fence. These are two good fences, so I need more fence variety. It's lucky that they gave me... They gave me miles back. Particularly the one that gave me 2,000 miles back, like that paid for it, practically. And now I can go learn those recipes that's on the ground. I was gonna play The Last of Us, but I don't know if I'm liking the right mental state to play it. It may be in an incorrect mental state. that multiple times. And so I bought two different reaction packs instead of cooking, you'd say I'm right. Yeah. But I, the thing is I need to make an effort to finish it before Friday. So, I mean, that, that wasn't too bad. Like, I didn't lose that many miles. It refunded quite a bit of them. Okay, I'm gonna do the island thing. get sold tomorrow. Each trip is just a thousand nook miles, so... I'm not sure how close I am to the end of the game. Alright, thousand miles. What's that? More reactions? Uh. Time to set sail. Watch your step as you hop on board. Once had me a ship. A cucumber. But alas, me crew number could only be one. Because when you chew on your ship, Swabbies say you're kind of strange. They think you'll all sink when your hunger makes your ship come undone. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Believe it or not, back in the day I used to be lean and mean. Whenever I'm sad, that's when me wife will say the sun will rise and warm you today. <laughs> oh, I don't have these flowers yet. This be your first tour, huh? Thing you gotta be mindful of from tours is be the same as the airplane, okay. Nothing special with fruit, unfortunately. Oh, it's... There you go. Phew. You out here looking for gyroids, too. 
That's alright. I hope you find the gyroid. You know a Brewster? Do I know a hook? You're looking at him. Mind if I ask what you're after? Blazer sent me. I see. I hear you. Tell him that for me. Oh, and also... This is yours if you want it. It's a gyroid fragment. Plant it in the ground, give it some water and some time, and it'll grow up strong the next day. Gyroids set fast when you return them to the ground. Well then, be seeing you. Oh, he's, he's here. How'd I find him? Just he was just here on the Isle the Captain tour. This dude. What flower are these? Hyacinth. I don't think I have these. <laughs> I have to set up another plot for these. Is he going to my island? He hasn't specified. The bushes I might take as well, because they're fully grown. Let me look at the diagram for Hyacinth. What do I need? I need... Four red, three yellow, and three white. Okay. Four red, three yellow, three white. He said, he just gave me a gyroid fragment, and I said Blathers sent me, so I don't know. Let's we'll see what happens. Yeah, so that's exactly what happened. Like, we got to him, now it's just a case of... Well, is he coming back with me? Oh, so I just have to go talk to Blathers. Alright. That's easy. These bugs are worth quite a bit, so... Um, okay, so I have all the flowers I need. Outside of that, I don't think there's anything else to do on this island.
Oh good, you can just lift these up. About fruit. I think I'll just stick to Nook Mile grinding today. And instead of not streaming tomorrow, I'll just play The Last of Us tomorrow. I'll like... Make... Make an effort tomorrow to get through The Last of Us, or at least a lot of it. Because tomorrow I do not have a long day. Tomorrow is... is fine. Just Mondays have uh, become a very long day for me. that tree. What I like about these islands as well is you don't need the pole. This one's not too special. There'll always be a gyroid fragment. Okay, I got the gyroid fragment. What flower remains then? I need tulips and I need. What do I need? Do I need cosmos? I might need cosmos. anything for a level 4 island? Not that I know of. I know level 5, that's when you have a chance of getting your special flower. There's like a, a flower that blooms only when your island is to that level. This one was in an awkward spot. Okay, I guess we're done here. Do I have Cosmos, Pansies, and Windflowers? I... I have Windflowers. The one that I'm not sure of is like, it's either I need Tulip and Pansies, or Tulip and Cosmos. It's one or the other. I know one of them is definitely Tulip.
signpost. Alright, that'll do. Yeah, ready to go home. Remember when they're returning, yep. Grandma lives in the house where I grew up. She used to read me when I was a pup. She did voices. She made them real funny. She made reading lots of fun. Made each day sunny. If you think it's all a dream, maybe it is all a dream. Catch the rest of your dream fallen back asleep. I love when that happens. It be so deep. <laughs> be so deep. Well, uh, now I have to set up the growing area for this. Which I guess can be somewhere below. Now I definitely have to move stuff. I'll put it here. I need to move one, two, three trees. Okay. I guess. Um, as far as gyroids go, I'll bury him here. We'll be ready tomorrow. I don't really like gyroids. <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, one... Maybe in a room, sure, has a decoration, but otherwise, that worked all right. Yeah, there we go. It's just very subtle. Oh, I need the fencing.
Hmm. Maybe. That's nice. Stone, clay. I'm gonna make that. You have a few spread out on the island. Gyroids? I don't know. I haven't been too big a fan of them. Just to get the DIY stuff out of the way. Plant produce, of course, gives me a pain in the ass one. Let's just leave it like that. I think it needs more contrast, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, I need to go grab fencing. I guess if I'm being forced to plant, I should put a spot for these. Okay. song. Uh, I mean...
set. It's alright. We'll undo it. I don't have to really fix it. Good, that's yep, that's what I wanted. Good enough. I will probably change it later. ended up with just a bunch of random screenshots on my other switch. It was just this. Okay. This is why I have this outside. Chop wood. Okay. First things first. Move this. Move these two first because I know these are going to be fruit trees. I'm going to move them to the east part of the island. Since the majority of the fruit trees are here. more than anything else. That is worth money. gonna chop the other tree down. Uh, but I guess I went to the effort of 
eating. Alright, fine. You hate teachers, you gotta notice there is a math test tomorrow and the Ruby Pack will be sent home tonight. Then <laughs> you're asking why they couldn't do that over the weekend. Hmm. That's a fair point. You can look at it from two perspectives. You can look at it from a perspective of the teacher didn't want to ruin the child's weekend and have them do math homework, which I'm sure a lot of kids probably won't appreciate. Or you can look at it from the perspective that they're trying to screw over the parents. <laughs> Bad luck. Someone's getting math homework tonight and it's not just the kid. Porque no los dos. Spooky chair. What a spooky chair. That's a spooky chair. It's like a pumpkin chair. Okay. Given the effort I've gone through to set this up, I, I just can't believe... still can't believe people do this much to get hybrids going for flowers. It just makes those islands that I've visited where they have just flower displays more impressive. It's just, oh no, this is like a whole process to get this going. Way more effort than I, I would have thought. got on all the hybrids it's a blue rose and green mum so i'm working off a diagram but apparently this is optimal how to get everything in a somewhat optimal way i've done this wrong
So, I mean, you can see, I got mums, I got lilies, I got windflower. Which one is this? Cosmos. So that means pansies are my missing ones. Pansies and tulips, that's what I'm missing. No, I got pansy. Okay. So then what's this? This is rose. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, hang on. I just need tulips. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I just need tulips. Okay. But I was right about the highest synths, at least. I definitely did not have these ones. Okay, that is set up. have an abundance of tulips. Oh, they were your island flower then. I mean, I'm sure Leaf will sell them at some point. Just gotta be patient. this here. It's fine. Gotta talk to bladders now. Tell him I found We're still searching for that certain coffee creating column bidet. By which I mean uh Brewsta. Found them. Who and allow me to add hoot. Why, that is simply wonderful news. Do tell. What did he have to say? Said, I hear you. Oh, that's simply marvelous news. What a relief. That Brewster is a punctual and precise fellow. So I expect he will make his way here forthwith. Now, uh, what? I suppose that means. Oh dear, I must make arrangements for his arrival straight away, who? So that and I'm afraid I'm going to have to close the museum to all visitors tomorrow for construction. So everything goes as planned. We shall reopen the next day with cafe service in place. It is my sincere hope that you will join us for a cup of joe on that date. I've never heard anyone in Australia say that. That expression, cup of joe. I wonder how that came to be. I'm still fishing because snapping turtle, and if I see the correct shadow size, I'll go for it. Ok, 
Okay, what are my Nook Mile plus things? Bugs wood. Checking my trees first. There we go. Oh, hey, Nate. Welcome. Thanks for popping in. Man, I need to fix my bot. It's not notifying follows anymore. I missed that, so sorry. I don't know what gives. Okay, history lesson. During World War One, US Navy. Josephus? Daniels banned alcohol on ships. Without rum and wine, soldiers turned to coffee, which they dub dubbed Cup of Joe in spite of the prohibition. Oh, like, very, very sarcastic thing. Like what they're being forced to drink. People have rum in the morning. Catch a spider. But yeah, I guess that explains it. It's an Americanism. Guess what? I got something for you. It's an old guide shirt? The, the what? Oh. That's looks like it just has a pen in it oh no i see it's got the armband like a scout's guide okay that's cool Maybe follow me on Twitter as well. Thanks, Knight. Appreciate that. I don't care what Elon says. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep calling it Twitter. <laughs> I don't know what that guy's fascination is with the letter X, but he just everything he does he names with the letter X. children. Yeah, that's right. That's not Twitter anymore. No, Elon bought it and he renamed it X. Because of course he did. Yeah, I mean, the thing is still Twitter at its core, though. He has brought live streaming to it recently, so like... It is shifting a little from what Twitter used to be. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's a litter and signs everything with an X. <laughs> that just makes it even more funny, because that's just like... There are so many cartoons where they sign contracts with an X. Am I gonna start streaming to Twitter? Hell no. I just got mariachi clothing, yes. I mean, um... I don't really use Twitter as much. I tried doing stream notifications on it, but I don't know. I feel like I'd have to actively get people to follow me on there. Which not everyone wants to do. Wahoo! 
Oh, there we go. I've got... I think the reason I got tired of Twitter was just... It became more and more... I don't know. It kept showing me stuff that I don't really care about. Like, no matter how many times I would click a tweet and say, I'm not interested in Formula One, Twitter slash X to this day still shows me Formula One shit. It's like, I, I've never had an interest in that. I've never looked it. I've never watched a video on it. For some reason, Twitter just keeps showing me stuff about Formula One racing. No idea why. <laughs> it's just how it is. I don't know. I, I think... Because the, the thing is, there are people that have genuinely good conversations on Twitter. Like... Yeah, you can find out stuff from it. That's good. But by the, the same token, you know, there are people that just post lit, like everything they're doing. It's just, I don't know, man. Just that level of broadcasting, it's just, eh. It's not my thing. <laughs> Dude, check out my muffin. But see, at least that's, that's food. I think food's the only area where you're allowed to do that. And it's, it's more acceptable, at least in my eyes, but it's more of a, like, just every thought that pops into your head or everything you're about to do is, is like, broadcasted. And there are people that just get into... People get into arguments on that platform. Clearly used a bad example in this specific stream. Hey, just because I talk about food doesn't mean that I'm going to defend it always. It's just putting pictures of food. That's something that's outside of Twitter. Like Instagram has that. Facebook has that. It's it's a pretty universal thing. The thing that I think is unique to Twitter is just the discussion aspect is is different. At least that's the way that I see it. And people get into arguments a lot on Twitter. Different how? Well, alright. On Reddit, for example. I started to see that a lot of threads were put up just for the sake of putting them up. And just getting an upvote. I don't know. On Reddit, there's like this energy of, well, I need to say something that'll get me upvotes, or I need to reply in a manner that'll get me an upvote, whereas in Twitter doesn't quite have that. Like, you might have a tweet with that purpose in mind, like, you know, getting retweets, but then the replies aren't like that. Like, there's the concept of ratioing, sure, but, like, it's not quite to the extent of Reddit. You removed the showmanship bit, I, I guess. I don't know how else to put it. But people definitely get into way more, uh... Just... Petty gossip and petty arguments on Twitter, from what I can see. But you do get genuine good conversations, like... There are a few threads on Twitter that I saw just, um, of good tools to use for graphic design, for example, or, like, um, plugins, that sort of stuff, just for creative thing. Well, people sharing artwork, for example, is, like, another good one. It, d it definitely has a use for, like, what I like using it for, but... 
That's not something I actively use. And, you know, it's um, game development. Uh, that's another good one to follow, just because a lot of game developers use it and they show prototypes of the stuff they're working on. So there are certain games that uh, I became aware of just by using Twitter. Like Pizza Tower being one of them, for example. That one is, like, probably one of my favorite releases this year. And, yeah, that came from finding out about it just randomly. So... There you go. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's social media, and it's just... It's, I've never used social media for social aspects really it's just in in the case of streaming you have to have that presence it's just oh i have twitter so like people can contact me through twitter if they want i messed around with stream announcements for a while didn't really pan out but it's always an option one day if people want it so i can facilitate that shit i accidentally jumped Yeah, and also what Kat brought up is, like, now, because you can't link as much, people post more on actual X. I find it curious that it's just this it's only on on X, Twitter, whatever, that it recommends Formula One stuff to me. On nothing else does it do that. I'm not sure how how that came to be. Cause these things usually like usually it works off something you've either browsed or look at actively causes the algorithm to think you're interested in that. Or maybe you just haven't liked enough stuff that maybe it hasn't been fine-tuned, but you know, I I have clicked multiple, multiple tweets, like, in, in the 20s, in the 20s, and have clicked, hey, I'm not interested in Formula 1. It still doesn't get the hint. It did that with Taylor Swift for a while, but I put I wasn't interested in Taylor Swift. Not the life, but... I mean, not the music, it's more the life aspect. It's just, you know, what she's doing, what she's up to. It's like, I don't care, man. Just stop showing me that. And it did. Formula One? Nope. <laughs> it's just still. Yeah, I don't care what celebrities are doing, like. Tent to flowers, alright, that's an easy one. You don't want content, Taylor, if you want it all. That's probably not a bad thing to want. Because that's the problem with, like, having... Having something only show you things that you're into... ...is kind of the flip side of it, is you only get shown perspectives that, I guess... ...are similar to your perspectives.
don't know. Part of me wants the internet to go back to how it used to be. Where you had... If you wanted to go somewhere and... You would find a specific community for certain things, you know? It wasn't just, oh, visit three websites, and then you find something on those three websites. Like, I miss going to a website that was known for this and just this, you know? Specialist websites. This, they still exist, but not to the same extent as it used to be. Yeah, you made it. What's the latest? The prize, well, this place is like a shrine to me. I should shrine to myself. For me. Okay. Were you talking to me? Sorry, I was way in the DIY zone, Foxtrot. Well, I'm making a cardboard sofa. A cardboard sofa? I dreamt the idea when I fell asleep watching Maglevs in Love. It's about trains. In love. One of them. Hang on, not important. It doesn't matter if Maglev Mike took their relationship off the rails. Oh, god damn it. Because I'm building a thing! Hey. Do you want to know how to make a cardboard sofa? Yes. I'm going to be the first pop star slash fashion designer slash DIY guru. So write down all my recipes, here you go. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing that I will say has started to become more common with streaming is people are choosing not to become an affiliate or a partner on Twitch. Well, specifically uh, affiliate, because it's just... It's harder to reach the partner status, so what people are doing now is... Since you have to agree to exclusivity if you become an affiliate... They're saying that's not worth doing anymore, and it's more a case just stream to multiple flat platforms at once. And don't worry about Twitch affiliate. Because it's more exposure in the long run. Kind of makes sense. Um, well, now the problem is I need to catch a spider. But those things don't exactly turn up in a common way. My internet connection is not good enough from an upload perspective to do two at a good at a quality that I would want. I guess is the key word. All this junk. Ah, oh, it's like in a bucket. I didn't even store it in... in a tank or anything, it's just placed in a bucket.
Okay. <laughs> Jeez. What other Mukmal stuff have I got? That one I can't do. I can do the diving one. Um, I guess the issue is now because it's past midnight, no one's really out and about anymore. I have to go visit houses. But I think most have gone to sleep, like... I'm sleeping, yeah. Sleeping. Who's up? I saw Audi. Night, night owls. There are a couple. There's only two. That is so annoying. <laughs> there's, there's only two. Melba's asleep. There's only two, and it wants me to talk to three. Uh... I wonder if the camper counts as one. Oh. <laughs> Presents gone. That's so smart. Was there like a building boom on Chamblay and I just got told there's no land for sale? This will make sense, everyone wants to live thing. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't count. <sighs> Well, uh... That's pretty sad. <laughs> There's no way I can do this then. Sometimes quitting the game rotates the, uh, the villages that are around. I could try that. Oh, no. Not light. I saw a light, but it's not the right kind of light. Let me, let me try that. Let me try that. Because otherwise, the only one that I can do is uh, the critter one. Uh, <laughs> okay, so close, reopen, and then that should rotate. We'll see. Pietro is now outside, so that's a good sign. Thank you. 
Okay. That's good. I see him. He's a unique villager that I haven't talked to yet. Would seem to have worked. But see, even the fruit one, it popped up after the store closed, and it's just... I don't think dropping it into the, the box uh, counts as a sale. I might have to look it up. If it does, I'll drop three co coconuts in there. It's not that big a deal. Okay, Moose is out. That's... As long as someone's out. Have you noticed the pumpkin decorations that have been popping up around here, Shorty? Don't tell anyone, but pumpkins are a great substitute for medicine balls in a pinch. Okay. Five thousand, uh, but it's... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna do the critter thing. It counts. It counts, okay. I mean, coconuts is not bad, but I just feel bad if I sell five thousand worth of stuff. It's just... I can get so much more. sell these, I guess. I think the box is currently blocked by junk, anyway. See if I can get the stoner otter conversation going. Given me most of the mermaid stuff anyway. So I don't I have one for seashells as well then? No. Chop a tree down, alright, that's easy. Mm. 
spoiled choice here. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, there you go, that works. Butterfly fish. I really don't, didn't want to do this, but I guess I have no choice. Scent of flowers. Uh, I guess in terms of trees, get rid of this one. I'll leave the stump because then it allows for bugs to spawn on them. That's a nice and easy one. <laughs> I just remembered, uh... Because I like watching Kitchen Nightmares, like Gordon Ramsay's shit. Just because it's, I don't know, it's just, there's something satisfying about him calling out people on their shit. People that are just so delusional. But anyway, the series ended a long time ago and now they're doing new episodes, so. The new episodes are around now. I think there's two or three of them. So I've been meaning to check them out. I think I can still do that. Encounters. I don't remember the episode, but there's this dude that's so hopeless. That's uh, the kitchen that he's running at a hotel. They serve a customer chicken that has like clearly been cooked to shit. Like it's just it's completely f messed up. Gordon shows him the piece of chicken, and he says, he asks him what's wrong with it, <laughs> and he says it's raw, and I've never, like, he usually keeps his composure, but he was genuinely just so perplexed how someone could say that. It's probably the only time I've seen him be that, that confused at someone's stupidity. This counts as fruit trees, so I guess I could plant one. Hang on, what is it? Grow a fruit tree. Yeah, that's easy. I'll plant one of these. It's asking me to plant produce again, isn't it? 
Stop. I planted plenty today. Does the game know that I just have a pile of stuff outside the store? It's like, hey, you should sell it. Why haven't you sold it yet? Ugh. I'm gonna go diving for critters again, because the critters get good money. I still need to do the stone otter conversation, so I may as well. I'm not gonna plant the produce. Butterfly fish should be okay to get. Once I wanted the chicken cooked at a restaurant, cooked so it's rock hard. I mean, granted, with chicken you definitely have to be careful, make sure it's cooked, but at a certain point, it just becomes like leather. Did a U turn on me. That one sells well, so that'll get me the amount I need. I'm not selling that one today. You know what? I'm not even selling the other one. I'm gonna sell the low value ones and keep these ones for tomorrow. can mean two things. It can mean like a meat temperature, but it could also mean I guess how you want it. Like you could, could have, there's a difference between boiled chicken and grilled chicken, fried chicken. Maybe that's what the question was. It's like, how do you want it? chicken. Was the word R supposed to be in there? Oh, I think it was. I just... 
filled in the blanks. Now see, here's how you know you're having a stroke. You go to purchase a recipe to enable cooking in your game, and then you purchase emojis twice. That's how you know you're having a stroke. Trying to do this as far back as I can because it's, it's rather close to the. There we go. What even are the options? Boiled, fried, grilled, oven roasted, pan seared, broiled, air fried. Could also soup. It's not really the same as uh, as boiled. You could also have them as like a, a mince meat. So it could be like a filling for a dumpling. Nope. Just the cheap ones. Just do that. Because the other ones, they are worth a bit. I'll grab some sea bass if I can. There's, there's more, but you know, that, that's off the top of my head. more. <laughs> Still not enough. Hold on. I'll catch this fish. Oh wait, I have another fish on me. Ooh, no, 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 that fish is worth a bit. Alright, 
that should be it. It's not? Really? Okay. Must have sold more last time. get this one before it heads for the pile. Never to be seen again. <laughs> How did it fall in? How did it fall in? Oh, whatever. Death perception. Ugh. It's like the second one today. This is still not enough. Oh, I forgot about Nugget. You could also have it prepared in a Nugget form. Breaded chicken piccata with jasmine rice. I don't care. Like, that one was worth a bit, but it's fine. on. I think the later at night it gets, the more likely you run into a spider. Just make it that dangerous to be outside at night. Ah, oh, I forgot to take it off. Again, just changing the socks. <laughs> DIY recipes times three. doesn't count as a fish. Right? Oh, no it does. Okay. Wait, no, it doesn't. I already had one. It doesn't. There we go. Sauteed olive flander. Uh, 
I mean, look at these. <laughs> Clumps of weed. Cookies. I appreciate the cooking in this. to find the the kitchen nightmares bingo game <laughs> there's a bingo game that you can play it's fun which you can turn into a drinking game but Hey, yeah, yeah, no, thanks for the raid. How's it going? Hold on. I can't justify having more than one farm overall. Tomorrow's outfit, not today. Thanks. It goes fine. What are you up to today? Mod of Terraria. Oh, cool. What mods were you playing? I dabbled in mods. Haven't played a lot of them, but some pretty good ones. Cook up a storm. Crap. It wants me to make food now. Calamity. Oh, Calamity's pretty good. I never finished that, though. I guess the low hanging fruit would be um, sugar. I'll probably need that for something anyway. I've been waiting for the new update to drop, but it's just... Like always, the scope of it just keeps increasing. So who knows when it'll be ready. Terraria is releasing an another, another, another final patch. So I've just been waiting on it, because they're adding a bunch of stuff to it now. It's not going to be that big of a patch. From what they've shown, it's going to be bigger than what they let on originally. It's not going to be massive, sure, but it's bigger than what was originally intended. let me make sugar and then I need to do some general crafting what can I make I'll bring out some stuff and maybe there's something that'll scream out yeah make it cardboard sofa <laughs> I've never seen this before.
Oh, yeah, no, this. I need this. The Pico's house. Gonna go find some food. Alright, no worries, Anna. Enjoy. And then I'll do the cooking. Sugar. <laughs> okay. Well, the secret of thing will enable that, I guess. There's two sets of music going on here. There we go. I've played a lot of this game the past 48 hours. Oh, this is new. Firefly squid. Okay, gotta go donate that. I'll probably do the same thing once I have... I know this sounds insane, 40,000. <laughs> That's when I'll look for the villager. I'm going to be very particular with them now. Uh, scallop. <laughs> Thank you for gifting Iona that sub in the Twitch chat. Yes, the already here raid. The best kind of raid. Oh, 
Oh, that is next to the chicken nugget raid. That's probably slightly better. Nuggies, yeah. It's been a while since I've had nuggies as well, so. Maybe this weekend. Wow. Okay. Well, that's probably what Stone Otter would have given me. Enough for five thousand bells, so let's just Okay, we're not quite at the the beach where the shop is. Tent to flowers, all right, another easy one. Oh, that's not worth nearly as much as I thought it would be. Really? Let's just do it. It's fine. I don't like using that box, but while the Nook Mile thing is up, I guess. Water produce, water, water flowers. Alright, easy. Okay, 
just gonna make sure that these aren't infested. as a bug as well, so... Okay. DIY recipes. I'll make stone fencing with this. Since I wanted some of that fencing. I mean, just in case we need this. <laughs> Sell items again. Of course. It keeps coming up because it knows I have a pile of stuff. snapping turtle. <laughs> ah, how many of these am I gonna get? What did that... That's a milestone. Okay, but at least it'll get me a bunch of knock miles. But now that means in future they're gonna be worthless. Firefly squid. Yep. The firefly squid is a wee migratory squid that barely reaches three inches in length. 
And though they usually live in deep water, they do venture to the coast to spawn. Like their firefly namesakes, these sparkling squid emit a blue bioluminescent glow. This glow may be used to threaten enemies, communicate with friends, or perhaps to lure food in. Truth be told, we do not know for why the firefly squid glows. Remain in the dark, as they say. We have something similar in Australia, but it's like the blue ringed octopus. And that thing is uh, highly, highly poisonous. <laughs> do not. If you're in Australia and you see octopus that like glow, do not touch them. Or go near them. That's actually one of the one of the few times that I will talk about like that sort of thing. I know it's a bit of a meme for Australia to have things that can kill you, but genuinely. That one is probably one of the more likely ones, because if you go to like a remote beach, you could probably find them. the hermit crab. It didn't click. Stop with the trash. I have yet run into a spider in the last hour. Okay, not the kind of spider, I'm thinking tarantula, but that counts I guess. It actually does count. That was the spider that I was after. That one's just unfair. But I guess I can get it now. Spend Nook Miles. I'll just buy a ticket. Alright, oh, yeah. Important thing is that I uh, I got rid of the spider on the board. Ugh, cook again. I'll do the uh, the sugar recipe since that's easy. Not 
quite enough. I got some cheap fish. That one's straightforward. I don't mind the ticket one, because I, I guess that's... ...subsidized to some extent. just in case. Oh, okay. Phil, what are you doing? Stop walking into me. theme. Just keep changing socks, and I'll earn points. I've changed socks enough times to earn myself 1500 Nook Miles. DIY, okay, um... I've made most of the fencing I want. I could make medicine, that's probably a good one.
Oh, I need grass for that. Hang on. I'll expand. I think I'll just go with the medicine. It's easy. Get the easy miles! Some, oh, I couldn't have that before. That one will be easy though. So, I mean, I'm not doing badly. I already have four tickets. lay down plans for that bridge as well. Alright, let's look at the houses and see if there's a moth anywhere. Catch that. You know, I'm not sure if I'm still in love with my cyber shades. Then again, maybe I am. Herc, what do you think, Will? You're in love? You know what? You're right, but I think I'm gonna give it away anyway. Still not getting the hit? I'm giving it to you, Will. It's all yours now. Cyber shades. <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? I think it completes the look. I'm like a bootleg Mortal Kombat character. One of the many failed Mortal Kombat clones of the 90s. You know the weird thing about Mortal Kombat is I never knew there was a censored version. Because the only experience of that game that I had was when my cousin went to the arcade and we went with him. And at the arcade that game was uncensored. It's kind of dumb in retrospect. Given how much more violent those games are now. But it's just like... The amount of, uh, of drama that game got. For stuff that is pretty tame nowadays. Oh, there's a moth. Yeah, 
Excellent. All right. Stop giving me the cooking ones. I don't want to cook. Oh, <laughs> uh, what can I even make? Pancake? I'm not making pancakes. I guess the peach smoothie. I could make that one. Sea bass and clump of wheat. Alright, I'll do that. And I can put that on the table. Uh, I'm just gonna borrow sea bass here. My secret ingredient, just <laughs> clumps of weeds that I got from outside. Place the toast down on the ground. It's now floor toast. And, uh. That's weird, I'm not allowed to. Hopefully it doesn't ask me to cook anything else. Chop wood. Okay. Check these trees earlier. Oh no. Wait, oh shit, that was wrong. Wrong thing. Where do I have sea bass and... 
I mean, these are understandable because I want models of them. But the others don't make any sense. related ones. I'm still trying to get the turtles. <laughs> Just, I've had no luck with that. any fish. Okay, uh, another recipe. <laughs> I don't want to cook because I don't have the ingredients. Is every fish going to be unique in cooking? Crap. My bad. Okay, this has to bring a recipe. Calamari? No, squid ink pasta. Okay, that's what it's gonna be. I've never tried that before. I've had squid ink bun. Because they do them like the black burger buns. But I've never tried squid ink pasta. Beetle, I think that should be doable. I gotta keep collecting shells. How many is that? That's four. Yeah, I got enough. All right. I'm just going to catch three quickly. Thank you. 
Hey! <laughs> Where are the critters? They've all... Oh, there's one. It's just seaweed, but it counts. Oh. Yeah, same thing. They're not worth much. This one seems to be worth a bit. Okay, back to shore. some nearby. Playing too much Sable and you see someone swimming in a video game without a stamina wheel, it feels wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, I can feel that. Sometimes you also play a game and you start pressing buttons like you're still in that game. Oh, man, if this had a stamina wheel, jeez. That'd be another way you could slow down the gameplay even more. Now shake these trees in hope of finding a bug. Yep. Good. It counts. I hear a balloon. I think for me, one of the things that took a long time to get used to but now I'm, I'm pretty good with it, is just when you go between PlayStation and Nintendo, or Xbox and PlayStation, or... Basically, it's just the button to confirm an action. It's always different. <laughs> so you end up pressing cancel sometimes. That one used to get me constantly. I'm just after the five. If I can get the tiger beetle, that'll be good, but... Right now, not fast. It's good. It doesn't help the shared button names. Yeah, it doesn't. All three have an X in different places. Well, there's always talk about... PlayStation, it's meant to be cross. Yeah, I don't know. I don't buy that. <laughs> Everyone calls it X. Sometimes you don't get to control how people pronounce things. It's like the creator of GIF wants people to call it a GIF and it's like, dude, no one's gonna call it that. I get that you invented it, but sometimes when things enter, I guess, the larger scope of things becomes part of the lexicon, the greater way of speaking, then you don't really have that control anymore.
one more bug. I can just drop. It's fine. Okay. Chop wood. Well, I was kind of saving the cell, but I guess I'll do the cell. I'm back up to 10,000. I wasn't going to do much more of this anyway. Oh, nice. Okay, no, I'm good. Okay. Oh shit. Be quick. Ugh, I missed the swing. It's okay, I have glasses on, you can't see it. I thought because I had run into a lot of wasps already, it wasn't gonna do it again. Why is drop the first option? And I've never understood that. When I'm in my house, it's like, the first thing I want to do is put away. That's it. Oh, yeah, I got changed. Ah. Did it so I don't have an extra piece of inventory.
All right. I think that that pretty much settles it. <laughs> I'm not about to cook. I've cooked enough. I'm gonna end up with a bunch of random stuff. Besides, it is it is very very light for me. So okay, well that'll uh, do it for Animal Crossing for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. And if you have been enjoying the playthrough of this uh, and you want to support the channel, easiest way to do so is just click buttons like the ones that have the thumbs up on them. It does help out the channel out a lot. Thank you to those that do do that. Or you can watch me play something else just by clicking one of the other two videos that have appeared on your screen. By now, most likely. But yeah, till next time. See you, YouTube.